The new results of a one-dose coronavirus vaccine, why it's so important even though it's less effective than its rivals. Yeah, the big story this evening, a third COVID-19 vaccine could be authorized for use in the near future. Johnson & Johnson is now the only major drug maker developing a single-dose vaccine. It still, however, needs FDA approval. KPI X5's Wilson Walker tells us Bay Area counties are desperate for another drug maker to bolster COVID vaccine supply lines. Wilson? Liz, no doubt about it. The Johnson & Johnson news is very good news and a reminder of how badly we need some good news today in Marin County. At their peak, they were giving about 1,700 people a day their first dose of the vaccine. They'll be lucky to give 2,000 people that dose all of next week. I know that for next week between Marin Health, Kaiser San Rafael, at Sutter Novato Community Hospital in the county, we have approximately 2,000 doses total. The effort to get more people vaccinated in Marin County is actually about to slow down. What the county calls a lean week of supply from the state will mean cutting back on first dose injections. Dr. Karen Shavelson is chief medical officer at Marin Health. It's very difficult to schedule patients on the front line of all of this when you have absolutely no idea how much vaccine you'll get or when. Now, the potential for more supply was the big national headline today. I know many of you and the American people are interested in the news coming from Johnson & Johnson's trial data. That data shows Johnson & Johnson's vaccine provides 85% protection against severe cases, while not as effective overall as the two vaccines we currently have. It is certainly good enough to help. However, it doesn't change the metrics we're facing right now in the United States. And it probably won't until spring. Johnson & Johnson may not deliver large quantities of its vaccine until April or May. So the supply chain will remain squeezed at the top. I think that the new, the new administration has made a commitment to letting states know three weeks in advance what the supply is going to look like. So that means the counties can know three weeks in advance what the supply is going to look like. And that reality of a continuing supply crunch is filled filtering down to places like Marin. And so I just want to let the public know we hear your frustration and we understand and we are not sitting on doses. I'm giving everything that I can that I receive. Wilson Johnson mm -hmm. Johnson says its vaccine is 66% effective against moderate illness. Do doctors still think that this is a game changer? Yes. Remember, the, govern the government's target for efficacy for these coronavirus vaccines was 50% on that count. So 60% is, is easily a passing grade. A flu vaccine in, in any given year is about 40% effective. So the exceedingly high numbers that we saw from Pfizer, uh, the initial vaccine, mm -hmm. those, were, those were exceptional scores. 60% is a good score. And more importantly, we can't stress it enough, the single dose aspect of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine without the stringent freezing requirements, it is going to make deploying that vaccine when it's available in large numbers exceptionally easy compared to what we are trying to do right now. Mm -hmm. And that's just in the United States. Think about worldwide where those freezing requirements are, are effectively a non-starter in certain parts of the world. Johnson & Johnson is going to make a huge difference there. And remember, you've got to defeat the virus worldwide to help protect us at home. So it is great news. Sure, major development. All right, Wilson, thank you.